Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Product in Focus. So today is Wednesday, which brings us our ADP private payrolls. But overnight, we had news that a particularly dovish member of the Fed could actually come out with quite a pro uh, interest rate um, comment last night. He was kind of saying that it was it would take very very disappointing economic data before he would change his view um, that an interest rate hike in September was um, was going to be off the table. And this is coming from somebody who's usually quite dovish in regards to interest rates. So we've seen a little bit of a jump up in the dollar. Um, the global equity markets, uh, like the U.S. thirty. It's kind of drifting to the side, but Germany 30 taking solace from that is up a little bit just now, and the UK 100 also grinding up. But uh, US 30 trading below potential uh, support now, potentially acting as resistance at 17.561. Other technicals are neutral, which means that 17.361 could be the next potential support. Now, that does uh, lead us to a very interesting um, aspect. Whereas, if today's ADP private payrolls yeah, disappoints, um, that could actually be kind of uh, positive for, for stocks because it means that they might not raise rates quite so soon um, and if it comes out really strong actually it might cause a little bit of a fluctuation in the global equity markets as well i guess the safest place to look if you want to take a view on on interest rates obviously is trade the us dollar rather than the uh, rather than the indices so moving on to the uk 100 you can see complete this, uh, kind of mirror image to what uh, the US 30 is doing, trading above potential uh, resistance at 66.86, next potential resistance 67.71. We're trading above the 21 period SMA, just slightly below that 55 period SMA. Uh, the technicals are relatively yeah, neutral, yeah. Uh, indicating there could be still further to go. But if you look at these candles, these last four candles, they've been making higher highs, albeit they've been getting, they, the closing price has been pretty much constant and it has been closing below 6686 for the last number of sessions. So that is pretty interesting in itself. So moving on to um, Japan 25, so dollar yen pushed up overnight to uh, 124 and change, 124.40 odd, um, and that's helped push Japan 25 up. Uh, the potential resistance is actually 124.40 uh, on uh, dollar yen, and that's why you've seen this uh, this kind of little mini sell off there on Japan 225. So we're quite far off the session highs, um, but nevertheless, if that dollar advancement continues at the expense of Japanese yen, 20,868 remains to be the potential resistance, and that's been in play for um, and, and remains unbroken when the close above there for a number of years. So as you can see there, looking at dollar yen 124.42. Uh, it's it's trying to break above there. It finished quite close to the top end of its range yesterday. Uh, kind of a doji formation so far this morning, but we've only just started the session. Looking at the technicals, um, we are quite far away from being overbought uh, at the moment, so this could still easily break up higher. Uh, but I think we'll be waiting for the ADP private payrolls before that actually happens. And obviously, you've got non farm payrolls on Friday, uh, which will be the big one. Moving on to crude oil West Texas, it's bounced off the lows from yesterday, which was around about. Uh, 4520 um, so we're actually above potential um, resistance slash support right now at 4585 uh, we do have crude oil inventories also due today um, and obviously if the US dollar begins to advance again uh, that could add pressure but obviously we had that spike in the dollar yesterday and that didn't stop West Texas from having a little bit of a move up to uh, uh, a little move higher but it does just feel it might be this little bit of profit taking considering that there's nothing really going to change fundamentally albeit it does look like the war in Yemen is, in, is increasingly getting a little bit worse with Saudi Arabia now with uh, hundreds of tanks having uh, gone into Yemen uh, I guess maybe some eyes are looking at Iran who are backing the Houthi rebels out there what they're going to go ahead and do next so that might be a cause for uh, the sudden spike in uh, West Texas crude so looking at gold still it kind of defiant, not breaking through either side of this potential symmetrical triangle. Um, we might have to wait till later on to find out what the score is. You can see uh, yesterday on the back of um, the Fed comments, we had a spike up only for it to drop back down again. And we're still very much at the apex of that triangle formation. So finishing up with the euro dollar and GBP USD. So euro dollar sinking towards one spot 0.786. Um, obviously, ADP power payrolls could bring that further. We've got a negative crossover on the MACD. The other technicals are relatively neutral. Trend here is down. Uh, we're trading below both moving averages uh, with one spot 0786 being the next potential support. And then if that breaks, then 105.24. Now, finishing up with GBP USD, uh, drifting lower, finally broken out of that one spot 56 oscillation, uh, albeit not that convincingly. We do look like we are still 
sticking around that uh, completely flattened out dual moving average crossover, the 21 and 55 period SMA completely flat at the moment. We had a dip down below or the run only to push back up. Long like a candle here indicative of selling pressure above one spot 56. Again, we'll wait for the ADP payroll number to come out. So, economic date wise, what do we have coming out? Well, uh, we've got Eurozone PMI, you've got German PMI, UK PMI due between 9 and 9.30. Then at 10, you've got uh, Eurozone retail sales, so it could be kind of interesting for your dollar. Then you've got ADP power payrolls and trade balance details. Uh, remember, ADP power payrolls is at quarter past one today, uh, with the trade balance at 1.30. And then finishing up the day, you've got um, you've got PMI, the ISM, Non-Manufacturing Business Index, uh, 3 p.m. From, from the US, and then finishing up there with um, crude oil inventories, which surprised the market last week uh, with a figure that was uh, a little bit lower than what was expected. So it'll be interesting to see if that continues on, especially when you consider the low point where West Texas is at the moment. So as ever, guys, keep your eye on the chart forum. I can see there's a number of uh, CMC Markets clients are posting analysis on here, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, make insights part of your layout to get the inside track as to what's moving in the markets. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.